Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. So Bram, it's day two of IBC. How's the show going so far? It's been fantastic for us, yeah, it's been very busy. Yeah. Fantastic, there's a real buzz in the air this year, I'm finding. So tell us, Flanders Scientific, how are you positioned in the marketplace? Yeah, so we're definitely one of the premier um, kind of color reference monitor providers in the market. Uh, we're used in high-end post-production. We're also used in very color-critical applications um, on set. So uh, not so much for general picture, but when it comes to color accuracy, that's what we're known for, and we're kind of leaders in that space, um, especially when it comes to HDR monitoring, HDR color grading. Um, that's really our specialty. And talk to me about the trends that you're seeing unfolding in the industry and what are you doing to meet the demands of those trends? So HDR has become obviously a very big uh, request from a lot of uh, uh, you know people who are purchasing content. So content providers are trying to grade more and more uh, in HDR, do more and more HDR deliverables. The big problem with HDR has been that uh, the HDR monitoring has been prohibitively expensive. and. That's what we've really been focusing on. So we used to make $35,000 HDR displays. We've now brought that down to a third of that cost. So we have HDR reference monitors, 1,000 nit capable, down at a price of just about 11,000 euros, $11,000 or so. So that having come down has made HDR a lot more accessible to a lot more people. So we're now having a lot more content being produced because the monitoring is no longer this roadblock to making HDR content. Uh, so that's really been our focus. Uh, we do that in a 31 inch. We do that in some larger displays as well now, uh, trying to make, again, HDR monitoring something that everybody can get. Yeah. And what are you showcasing here this year at IBC? So the main thing that we're showcasing is our lineup of quantum dot OLED HDR and SDR reference monitors. Um, we introduced the 55 inch last year uh, that won a lot of awards. It was one of the first kind of large format 55 inch displays that wasn't just a client monitor, but was actually good enough to be used as a primary reference monitor for a colorist. Um, we've expanded upon that this year with the introduction of a 65 inch. Uh, so that's the first time we're showing it uh, at IBC. And then we also have a 31 and a half inch. And the 31 and a half inch is really the one that's been extremely popular. So that was introduced in February. This is the first time we're showing it at IBC. But that 31 and a half inch is that $11,000 option for HDR monitoring. Um, so that's been the big showcase of this show, is showing off the expanded lineup of quantum.oled monitors, which are again giving people different options for post-production, for onset, um, and having kind of a, a, a consistent display technology that meets those HDR monitoring needs uh, for all these different form factors or all these different applica applications. So. And who is this for and what are the future use perspective cases? Yeah. So um, our users are primarily uh, DITs, colorists, uh, it's a little bit into editorial, but anytime something color critical is needed, that's where we come into play. Uh, so post houses uh, use our monitors to produce content for streamers like Netflix and Disney and all these different companies. That's really who we're targeting is post-production clients and then again, the color critical onset applications. And then areas where we're expanding a little bit more uh, recently uh, and look to do more in the future is gonna be in live broadcast where we're starting to see more and more HDR. Our monitors support HLG in addition to PQ, HLG being very popular for HDR production. Um, so so that is an area where we expect to see a lot of growth uh, in the live production, sports, uh, you know, even news, those types of things. Um, those live applications, people need HDR monitoring there as well, and we hope to expand into those markets. That kind of ties into my last question. What do you think the future holds for Flanders Scientific? Uh, so we think that the big trend is going to be more and more HDR monitoring. Um, you know, traditionally it's been a, a split of mostly SDR with a little bit of HDR. So we ex we plan on expanding our HDR monitoring lineup uh, to give people even more options, uh, and we foresee breaking into those kind of emerging markets a little bit more, where there's more being done on the production live broadcast side, because HDR traditionally has been a little bit more focused on streaming applications in the past, not as much in terms of live broadcast but we're now seeing a live, live broadcast pick up HDR. We're seeing networks and TV stations start to do this. Um, so we expe expect to see a lot of growth in that market. Yeah. Very exciting yeah. times. Thank you so much, Thank Bram. You. Have a brilliant show. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yep.